Hi, hola, welcome to Alpha Dime. So this is the look we're gonna do today. We're gonna go with a bridal look because I haven't done anything for my bridal series. So if you wanna see how I created this look, please stay tuned. Okay, so my face is all primed. And basically, I just wanna start off with showing you guys the REM Beauty um, under eye uh, gel because in my previous video I was rating it and I was saying that I was still trying it and you can wear it overnight but I wanted to try it you know while wearing makeup I have tried it a couple times and I do like it so I wanted to do that to um, show you guys a little bit on how to do different things so basically it's like this you just get a little bit and you put it under your eye And you don't need a lot. It's very hard for me to do with my nails, but it's doable. And then I also did my eyebrows already. I did the uh, Tattoo Studio Brow Gel um, from Maybelline, which I really like. And I also provided the link for that in my previous video, but I'll be linking everything below today as well so today we're going to be doing a bridal look because i haven't done a bridal look in a very long time so this look can be for the big day or if you want to do it for other events that you know that you're going to do as a bride like your bridal shower or your bachelorette so things like that or your rehearsal dinner so i'm gonna do my uh, foundation quickly that way um, we don't waste time on that, so I'll fast forward all of that. But I'll be using the Il Maquillage um, Woke Up Like This. I'm running out, so basically I've been doing this because it won't pump out. But I'll quickly do my foundation and then we'll get into the eye look. So I'll fast forward now. Alright, now we'll move on to concealer, which is the unique in the color satin. And that's where we applied the gel. So everything I feel like, you know, applies very well. And then I apply a little bit on my imperfections to help cover them up. But look at how great it applies. It's not caking or anything like that. See? So I believe we can wear this also for makeup, not just overnight, which I like. Thank you so much, Ariana Grande. I'm liking her products so far. Um, I do wanna try her foundation and concealer and all of that stuff. So down the road, I'll definitely be purchasing some. Right now I'm just holding off cause I have so much makeup and I'm sure you guys know cause like as someone who likes makeup, it's easy to, you know, stock up on things. So I have so much, so I have to wait a little bit. But you guys see, my skin is very smooth under my eye. It does not look like it's caked on, which is what I was aiming for. Okay, so for the bridal look, I'll be using my Dior palette. Um, the small one, it's called, I forgot, Dior Backstage Eye Palette. And I'll be using the color, I believe is Sculpting Powder, which is Ombre is this one in the corner and like I said before I'll be linking everything so this look is gonna basically require 
technically two colors. So we'll gently apply on the lid and then a little bit on like the brow and crease. So you wanna give yourself a little bit of dimension there. And you can use your smaller side if you feel more comfortable that way. But I feel like this is like your typical bridal go-to look. Um, but I'll do different ones to show you guys that you don't only have to go one way or with like the smoky looks. I know usually we go with the smoky look because it's more classic, more classy and clean. You can do all sorts of colors. It is all up to you. Now, with my better than six, what I'm gonna do is, cause it's gonna require some liner, is that I'll draw the overline and then I'll do like the smoky um, black part with actual powder because I don't, with this, you can't exactly blend it. It's liquid. So I gotta switch things up a little bit. So like I said, I'll just be doing the overline and you can do it as thin or as thick as you want Now, we're going to be using the Naked Palette 3 by Urban Decay. As you guys know, I love this palette so, so much because it, it's more like a neutral nude color. Oui. Now, I'm going to use my slightly edged brush because we're going to be creating a powdered wing. And I'm gonna be using the color Dark Hearted because that's their black, but if you don't have this palette, you can use a palette that has black. So what we're gonna do is, because we're not creating like a real wing, so we're gonna blend things out. we can clean everything up so if the powder makes a mess we can clean it and you ever so gently um, blend it But there you go. Now, 
Let's start on the other side and if we have to come back, we will. But you see why I use the edge brush? Cause it just helps put things into place. And then with your smaller side. And don't worry if this side looks messy, we're gonna clean it. So we're just using the bigger side to help blend out because you don't want the lines to be super harsh. <clears throat> I am just deepening it up a little bit. And you by all means could have just done the liquid liner. I'm just using the tip and just cleaning upward. complete the look I'm, I'm just gonna add the wing so I feel like the dark color is not dark enough I was just deepening the black a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now, let's do our lower lid. I'm gonna do the NYX uh, black eyeliner. Um, you can use whatever black eyeliner you have. And I'm applying it on the waterline. And I did like the little peaks on the inside. All I do is that I use the inner uh, tear duct and I pull out like a little bit with this pencil. I don't do it with the wet liners because they're a little bit messier and they can like, you know, water down if they get wet with your tears. So with this different edge brush, I'm gonna use the Dior color that I used before and I'm gonna apply it in my lower lid. I 
and it's gonna look dark anyways because your um, eyeliner bleeds a little bit down. Now let's contour and I'll fast forward through a couple things to get to the end of the look. Now we're going to highlight a little bit. Now with this different brush, I'll blend out the highlighter there. Now we're gonna set, or not yet, I need some blush. We're gonna use the Rem Beauty uh, callback. And what I've been doing is that I've been applying it this way, right? And then I ever so gently apply it to my cheekbone. Cause I felt like last time I used too much, so trying to learn how to control my hand with these creamy products. But if you wanted a more neutral blush, um, you can also use um, a more neutral blush to your skin tone, like the one that I have um, with Becca. Like this is more of a natural blush for me, um, but you can get something like that. Okay, now. We'll do some highlight. We'll just do like a little triangular thing there, and then I'll use the end of this to really blend it out. And then we'll set my face with the MAC Fix It. Now let's do some mascara. I'm gonna use the 4D by Unique because as a bride, you want the most volume. And this is a fiber mascara, so you can build it up as much as you want. I made a mess, but I'll show you guys how to remove that. That's why I try to clean the tip, but I guess I didn't do a good enough job. Now let's do our lips while we let that dry. Um, we're gonna be using the Coco by Kylie Cosmetic, the color Chloe, and then the Kylie Jenner Iced Latte. And I'm gonna line my lips. I usually make markings on my lips. And then I overline a little bit. Because I have small lips, so. 
you gotta cheat a little bit and then fill the lips in sometimes as a bride you want the most simple I haven't picked my look yet, but I don't think it's going to be anything too calm knowing myself. So it looks like this dried up pretty quick, but this is the final look. Um, I hope you guys like it. I feel like this is a very classy slash um, your most typical bridal look that you can get out there. Um, I hope I served it justice and I hope that I did the best that I could because that's all that I can do. Um, I'm not a professional at what I do. I just uh, give you guys tips and tricks of what works for me. Um, so to finalize the video, I'm going to read a bridal quote since it's a bridal video. Um, and it's a quote by Masaba Gupta. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Nothing shines out more than a bride in her most natural state. So have the most fun on your day and try to do everything you can to cherish it and remember it because ideally you want to, you know, get married once and, you know, have the wedding of your dreams. And honestly, I've been enjoying myself uh, being a bride and I always keep telling myself I'm really going to miss being a bride because it was honestly or it has been the most best experience that I've ever gone through in my life and um, I wish this for all you know women that want this in their life or any person that does want this in their life it's honestly fun and it's even more fun when you're planning your wedding with the people that you love the most and that's what i'm doing so um i'm really enjoying the experience and i cannot wait for the big day um july can't come fast enough and of course i'll have enough pictures and videos to share with you guys but Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video and I can't wait to see you guys next week.